Hi, I'm Andy, the Palm Springs linguist. Today I'm going to show you what the Greater Palm Springs area looks like during the pandemic. I'm also going to provide you information so that you can answer the question, could the English language spread COVID-19 more than other languages? In my opinion, this pandemic is the World War II of our generation. It affects absolutely everyone. More and more people know someone who has been sick, perhaps even died, and certainly our behaviors have been dramatically modified to keep ourselves and those in our community safe. The whole country, and in this case the whole world, is coming together to fight a common enemy. But instead of a war abroad, it's a war at home against the virus. According to the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention, infections occur mainly through exposure to respiratory droplets when a person is in close contact with someone who has COVID-19. So, does the English language spread more respiratory droplets than other languages? Of course, it depends on which languages you compare English to. If you compare English to languages such as French and Spanish, the short answer is probably yes. There are three specific sounds in English that are problematic when it comes to spreading the virus. Let me break it down for you. All sounds in English fall into one of two categories, voiced or voiceless. Voice sounds are sounds that make your vocal cords vibrate. Voiceless sounds do not. Put your hand on your throat. Now make the V sound. Can you feel your throat vibrate? You should. That's because the V sound is a voiced sound. Now let's do this again with the F sound. Can you feel your throat vibrate? You can't. That's because the F sound is a voiceless sound. Now let's try out some other consonants. S, voiceless. Z, voiced. B, voiced. P, voiceless. All vowels are voiced, and about half of the consonants in English are also voiced. Voice sounds are not the problem. While they may spread the virus, they do not spread the virus any more than sounds in any other language. That narrows the focus to voiceless consonants. One specific category of consonants are plosives. Plosives are consonants that momentarily stop airflow and then release the airflow, which produces the sound. The plosives in English are b, d, g, p, t, and k. We already know that the voice sounds are not the problem. So that brings us down to three voiceless plosive consonants. P, t, k. Now there are two main levels of sounds in a language, phonemes and allophones. Phonemes are the smallest unit of sound that can change the meaning of a word. In the word zoom, there may be four letters, but there are only three phonemes. Z, U, M. Mm. The number of letters is irrelevant. Phonemes are the sounds, not the letters. Variations of a phoneme are called allophones. Most native speakers have no idea that they use different allophones in different situations. What may seem like the exact same sound actually is a slightly different sound depending on what sounds surround it. The phoneme p has two major your allophones, aspirated and unaspirated. Aspirated consonants release an extra puff of air when pronouncing them. Unaspirated consonants do not have this extra puff of air. Aspirated consonants can more easily spread COVID-19. Let me demonstrate the difference between these two allophones. I'm going to put a piece of paper in front of my mouth so that you can see the difference in airflow between aspirated and unaspirated consonants. Pot, pot. Notice when I pronounce the P, an extra puff of air comes out of my mouth. That's because this P is aspirated. If I have coronavirus, then I'm releasing more of the virus into the air. Pot, pot. Now I'll demonstrate the unaspirated P. Spot, spot. Notice that much less airflow is coming out of my mouth. Now I'm going to show them back to back. Spot, pot. Now I'll demonstrate the aspirated P while wearing a mask. Pot, pot. 
In English, plosive consonants are only aspirated when they begin a stressed syllable and are not preceded by s. Now I'll demonstrate the p in Spanish. Pato, pato. The p in Spanish is never aspirated. This phenomenon is true in English under the same conditions for the phonemes t and k too. The aspirated k sound in car, the unaspirated k sound in scar, the Spanish k sound carro, the t sound also follows the same pattern. So are languages that do not have aspirated consonants safer than English? Languages such as Spanish, French, Italian, and Latvian do not have aspirated consonants and therefore may not spread the virus as easily as languages such as English that do have aspirated consonants. But let's be clear, to speak any oral language, you must breathe air out. And so all oral languages can spread the virus. It is a matter of degree. Could sign language be the safest language to avoid spreading COVID-19? Now I want to hear from you. Before watching this video, were you aware of the aspirated consonants in English? Please let let me know in the comments. Discover language you were never taught in school while exploring the California desert and beyond on the Palm Springs Linguist YouTube channel. Click like and subscribe right now. While the linguistic information in this video is indeed accurate, don't get your health advice from a linguist. For that, consult health professionals. See the show notes for a link to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. During this video, one aspect of English phonology was analyzed, aspirated consonants, so that you can better answer the question, could the English language spread COVID-19 more than other languages? Well, we can all probably agree that communicating in any language during the pandemic is probably safer in writing, over the phone, or using technology. I'm Andy the Palm Springs Linguist. Until next time, stay safe. This is Andy. Now's your chance to click subscribe on the left, or if you're already a subscriber, choose one of these great videos on the right. Meet you in the next video.